Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. I do indeed have a very big announcement and I don't want to keep you in suspense. You know me, I like to get straight to the point. So here it is. I wrote a book. That's right, a real book. Look at this, it's one of those ones with writing on every page. See, it's a real one. There's, it's got words and everything from the front to the back. So this is my book. I wrote this book last year. Uh, the title is Is This Wi-Fi Organic? A Guide to Spotting Misleading Science Online. So the book is exactly what it sounds like. There's a lot of misinformation online regarding science and I wanna help the public navigate this terrain so that they don't fall for marketing tactics and hoaxes and con men. Etc. So uh, this covers it in, in, in a pretty broad way. So I want to focus, first of all, on just genuine confusion, right? So just words that the public doesn't quite seem to understand. So number one, organic. Uh, this has become a buzzword in our culture, and uh, most people could not define this word for you. Uh, and yet many people try to align their purchasing, their grocery purchasing, with this word. So I want to go over words like organic and natural and synthetic and toxin and theory and energy and words that are that are very much in the vernacular of, of all of us. All right, we use, we use these words all the time, and yet many or most people don't quite know exactly what they mean. Uh, and so this, uh, this carries over into, into broader fads, broader pseudoscientific fads, uh, and, and predatory industries. So there's the alt-health industry, which is a multi-billion dollar industry, which exploits chemophobia. So chemophobia is an irrational fear of chemicals or chemical sounding things. So what this book does is it combines basically the two things that I do on my channel. So most of you are probably more aware of me in the context of the academic tutorials that I create. So I create these tutorials for students in high school, undergraduate, uh, to help you pass your classes in all the physical sciences, now branching out to other topics. But that's the main thing that I do on my channel. And then the other thing that I've been getting more into over the past two years or so is debunking. So I like to identify these pseudoscientific fads as well as very specific con men that are peddling these hoaxes. And I like to target them. I like to dismantle them. I like to use basic scientific information to show you how they are lying. So what this book does is it combines those two things that I do. It provides uh, explanatory passages that explain truly the most basic concepts in the four uh, main sciences, or what I would regard to be the key uh, physical and biological sciences. So we're talking about chemistry, biochemistry, biology, and physics. So we've got 12 chapters, and there's three on each of those topics. So we've got just the very basics the, the most important things that you would learn in 10th grade chemistry boiled down to 15 pages, right? So it just, it can't get any quicker. It can't get any simpler than that. And then I take this information and I apply it to the pseudoscientific trends and to the hoaxes and the con men and try to diagnose them, try to disarm them. So when there is confusion about these, these words, about the terminology or about these concepts, I want to understand why does that exist? Right, where did it come from? Oftentimes, it's just it's just a linguistic misunderstanding. There's a word that has two different connotations or two different definitions. One has been painted onto the other, and then and then people exploit that confusion for personal financial gain. So what I like to do is kind of look at the anatomy of the confusion. Right. So this word is misunderstood. Here's why. This is the di this is the origin of this confusion. And I feel like if I can do that for people, they can read that, acknowledge that that's that's the that's the way that they're thinking about it. And, uh, and maybe get past that. So let's go ahead and take a look inside the book. I want to give you a better sense of what is in here. So let's do that now. So looking at the table of contents, first there's an introduction. It's just a brief essay on how does the public perceive science. Then these first three chapters are on chemistry. Chapters four through six are on biochemistry. Chapters seven through nine are about biology, and chapters 10 through 12 are about physics. And then finishing off with an epilogue, which I uh, try to give a little bit of an optimistic tone. So just going through chapter one here, as you can see, there's very basic 
uh, information about chemistry, what are atoms, what are molecules, what's going on with the periodic table, what's a chemical reaction, that sort of thing. And then I try to apply that because I want to help people understand what organic chemists do. I want people to understand the task of the chemist because once you know what a chemist does, that helps alleviate some of this chemophobia. Then getting into concepts like toxicity, what do we mean when we say something is toxic, can anything be toxic? Then getting into what it means to call something a chemical, what chemophobia is, uh, dissecting chemophobia. Then moving on to biomolecules, what are amino acids and proteins, what are nucleic acids like DNA, what do they do? And then beginning to apply this to the concept of disease and health. What is the molecular basis of disease? Then talking about the alt-health industry and its rise to prominence. What is medicine? What is the history of medicine? What are cells? What do they do? How do they work together to create a living organism? What are pathogens like bacteria and viruses? How do those work? Dipping a little bit into biotechnology. What is genetic engineering? What's that all about? Looking at alt-health propaganda in this sphere. What is that about? What is the motivation behind it? Where does marketing fit into all of this? And then finally moving on to physics. What is energy? How do we define energy? How does that differ from the colloquial use of energy that many people take so literally? Moving into a concise history of science and the mathematical basis of science and why that's so important. And then moving into some good old debunking where we take all the knowledge gained in the book and use it to target things like quantum mysticism and astrology and Reiki and other healers, which incidentally is probably the most fun part of the book, so you get to earn that at the end. And then moving into the epilogue, science and industry in an educated world. What could we be if we could all be on the same page about these topics? So as you can see, or at least in my opinion, uh, this is something that's supremely important to be discussed right now. So if this goes beyond what's topical. Obviously, there's COVID denial and there's anti-vaxxers and there's things like that. That's what's happening today. But this, this is really a fundamental thing here. This is a fundamental problem in our society that the majority of the public is not able to discuss things like genetics or the basics regarding uh, chemistry, that people don't even really know what molecules are or how they behave, because this, in, this opens people up to being exploited, uh, in particular in the realm of medicine, but just really I entire lifestyles, right? Just, just the, the basic, the, the, the lens that people use to view reality needs to be better aligned with what the scientific community and, and therefore humanity as a whole knows, right? And we had hoped that the internet would, would better align public perception with what the scientific community knows because we thought this would be democratization of information. But unfortunately, that doesn't seem to have happened, right? A, a lot of people do use the internet to learn, but a lot of people use the internet to go deeper and deeper into these rabbit holes, which are uh, anti-science and anti-reality, quite frankly. So uh, I think that, that this is, you know, this is my contribution, right? This is what I'm trying to do. To help. So um, if you are someone that already knows all the science in this book, that's okay. Uh, one thing, you can, you can get this as a gift for someone who maybe would like to understand science, but just they didn't take any science or, you know what, they took 10th grade chemistry and they just don't really remember it, uh, which it happens to a lot of us. I don't remember what I learned in history class because I didn't use it. So I went down the science path. So that's why I know about that. But um, this, is, this is truly from zero knowledge, right? You can know zero things about science. I talk about what an atom is, what a molecule is, right? How they behave. And then I go up to biomolecules and then I go to cells and then talk about human physiology. And then we talk about physics. So this is truly zero prerequisite knowledge. So you can give this to any person and they could read it and, and learn the very basics that they, are, that they are missing in order to develop a scientific worldview. So that's part one. Part two, there is a lot of very useful uh, information in here in terms of combating pseudoscience. Right? There's a lot of good talking points in here. When I explain why people think natural good, synthetic bad because of this, under, this other connotation of the word synthetic or, or why people think alternative medicine is good because of the positive connotation of alternative energy, right? There's a lot of diagnoses in here that can clarify 
why the public engages in these pseudoscientific threats. And you can use those talking points, you can use those arguments to help convince the people in your immediate circle. So this is a very useful tool, uh, not just for learning basic science, but also for anybody who wants to help in this endeavor, to, to help bestow the public with science literacy uh, by, by talking to the people around you, talking to your peers and helping them understand why chemophobia is an irrational, indefensible way of looking at the world, right? Why all of these areas of mysticism and things are, are, are simply not aligned with reality and help people see that when they accuse the establishment, quote unquote, of being uh, of being profit driven, of being financially driven. Uh, this is this is a ruse, right? The, it is the people who are peddling this that are in fact also profit driven, and they're benefiting from these lies. So we need to work together, right? We need to help. We need to help the public understand. So this is my contribution. I hope you will check it out. The book comes out next week on the 30th. So it's coming up real soon here. You can still pre-order it today, but it is coming out officially next week. Uh, I've got all the links, of course, in the description below. So you can buy on Amazon or Barnes & Noble or Bookshop or, you know, there's a bunch of uh, different websites that you can buy it in. It is available internationally. One of the, one of the websites has free shipping uh, internationally. So if you're in another country, don't worry, we can get this to you free shipping. And um, so this is just, I'm, I'm really proud of it. Uh, I hope you guys want to read it. I hope you enjoy it. It's very short. You could read it like on J, you know, JFK to LAX. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty light read. Um, and it's, it's fun. There's a little bit of joking in there. It's a little bit lighthearted. It's not, it's not a science textbook, even though uh, there are brief passages that, that seem like a science textbook. Overall, it's social commentary. So that's what this book is about. Uh, I'm really excited to be a published author, uh, and I hope you'll celebrate with me. I hope you'll check out the book, recommend it to friends. Uh, if you do buy it on Amazon, pretty please leave an Amazon review. That is going to help increase the visibility of the book. Uh, I hope to use this as a stepping stone to be more of a public figure, uh, do a lot more public speaking, and uh, just in general be uh, more relevant in this conversation with the eventual goal of getting a, a scientifically literate public where we can just all be on the same page and uh, and get through this together. We're one human species and we should uh, be in agreement as to who we are, what we're doing, what our goals are, moving forward into this treacherous terrain of the remainder of the 21st century. So um, thanks for tuning in to my big announcement uh, and I'll see you later.